Hey guys, so like, um, so yesterday I posted like a little poll in the community part of YouTube and I asked like if you wanted a hijab collection video or if you wanted like a skincare routine video. So the majority of the people who voted said hijab collection. So I am about to do the hijab collection. As you see, I have three tubs, bin thingies back here. Um, I used to have a hijab rack and um, that the type that has like the holes in it and you hang it up in your closet it's like a hanger with like eight holes in it so I had like three of those and um, I would put all my scarves in there but my scarves would get snagged and they would bend the um, pole for the closet so my husband was like you know what let me get you something else so I got these bin thingies for my scarves I don't really remember where I get most of my scarves from um, I don't really buy scarves online, so there's only going to be like a handful that I got uh, from an online website. So, first bin. This one though, this blue wrinkle one, I got this one from Razia. And uh, I guess if I remember the links, I mean remember the websites, I'll put them down in the description. So, um, this one's from Razia. It's a nice blue. And uh, I like this fabric, like this viscose fabric, because it's like... It's super good in like the summer and winter, so these are my faves. I got this white one from a thrift store, and I remember I was like, oh yeah, I want to totally wear a white scarf. But, and then um, I put it on, and I was like, oh, I like yellow. Let me not wear this. This black one is also from Razia. It's like a, um, like a pleated one, but I dried it on accident, so key to keeping up good hijabs is don't dry them. Wash them, and then hang dry them. I put this one in the dryer too, which I was super sad because I love this color. It's like a purple gray. And um, I put it in the dryer and then it got all like sticky together. So I need to fix that. Um, Amir gave me, before we got married, um, he gave this one to me for Eid as well as this one. So not the same time, different times, but he gave me this one. This orange one was the first one he gave me. And then he gave me this one. I feel bad. I never got him a gift until after we were married. Yeah. Maybe like almost a year. Yeah, about like a year later after we got married, I gave him a gift. It's not like I don't like giving gifts, but I didn't want to give him a gift like before we got married. Um, because I was like, what if we don't? get married that's kind of weird you know like we don't really know each other so when he gave me the scarves I was like dang man I have something to like remember you by and I don't want that but alhamdulillah we end up getting married so it's cool that he gave me scarves I bought because it's turquoise and I know Amir likes turquoise so I was like ooh let me get a pretty scarf because I know Amir likes turquoise but I really don't ever wear this one because I don't wear pashmidas anymore so actually I do wear some pashmidas but this one's just so like vibrant I don't I don't know, it's not really me anymore. This one I got during winter at a thrift store and I was like, ooh, plaid, ooh. So I wore this a couple times. My mother-in-law left when she came to visit. So this one I just wear like in pictures and turban style. Cause I only wear turban style in like pictures and stuff. So I like it though. My sister gave me, has like little pearls on it. I have no idea where she got this from but it's nice okay this one and this one and this one and this one and there's some more in here so all of these ones there's more all of these ones I got from Qatar when my sister went overseas I was like yo she went over twice so they like, bring me back some scarves that's all I want and a couple of bias and some jewelry, you know, and some like bohor and some perfume, you know, just so anyway. So this is what she got me. These are some of them. I have more in here somewhere. So I got all of these colors. This one's my fave, which I wore for my Walima. Of course, I wrapped it in a way where it wasn't like uber sheer, but I wore this one for my Walima. I should probably count my scarves. I'll do that at the end. Okay, this is a Shayla that came with one of my abayas. I do not wear Shayla's anymore. I haven't worn a Shayla 
maybe since like a couple Eids ago, but I don't like wearing shadows. They are really hard to deal with, you know? They're just constantly falling off your head and then it's like you have to constantly fix it. I don't have time for that, but they are pretty. I do like them, they're pretty. So that's a Shayla and this is a Shayla. I maybe have like a couple Shaylas. Okay, and then this pink one right here is also from Gutter and it's so soft. I love this pink one. Let me change into it. Okay, so for those who wanna know how I do my hijab styles, I remember someone's like, how do you do your hijab? It looks so effortlessly. It really just is. I fold the front a little bit, right? And then I bring it down, bring this forward. And then I just go like this. That's it. That's all I do. But like this style, because I don't wear scarf pins, this style only works with like the viscose fabric and the um, pashmina fabric. So you can't do it with like the Shayla fabric because it's gonna fall off your head. This one I got from like Ross or something. It was summertime and I was like, ooh, and it's pink and blue, ooh. When I was just wearing, I got like almost like 10 years ago from a thrift store and it just, I just love it. And then I saw this one, which is like more maroon than this one. You see? This one I also got from a thrift store. It was like $3. $3. This one was about $3 as well from a thrift store. Honestly, most of my pashmina, if not all of them, are from thrift stores. This one and this one is also from Razia. Green crinkle, yellow crinkle. It's blue. It's from Qatar. Look at that. I like this blue. I think I want to wear the blue. Uh, yes, okay, we work in it. Yes, okay, blue is my color. I'm not gonna lie. Now it is time for the last bin. This blue one right here, I actually found at a store. I can't remember which store, but it was at a store. I got this one almost like, almost like, uh, See, almost like 10 years ago too. It was about like nine years ago maybe for like Eid. I wanted to wear something and I needed this scarf. Where did this, oh, I had a house dress that matched this one. I think my mom got it from Qatar. She gave it to me. It was a house dress that matched this one. House dress got messed up. Scarf stayed nice. Kept the scarf. This verbal, I got this verbal one from from a, a store, a thrift store. It's a pashmina. All my pashminas are from thrift stores. Turned into a crinkle scarf somehow. And I can't really wear it because it like kind of like shrunk and it's like kind of weird now, but I love the color. Look at that, look at that color. This one came with the um, Swakamis that was custom made in Pakistan. And my mom gave it to me. And uh, yeah, this is a Shayla. I believe I got from Qatar as well. Probably. I was going through a yellow phase, but I don't really wear yellow anymore on my face because my skin's already yellow. Is from Amara line. And um, oh, I love this one so much. I've worn this a couple times, but I only wear this to occasions where I don't really like need to use my hands and stuff. Like I could just keep fixing my scarf all day. Because I personally don't really like wearing slippery scarves because this is kind of like Shayla material. But if you wrap it in a certain way, because it's super long. So you could wrap this one and um, you're good. You're good. Look at this color though. I love it. Are from the thrift store. Because they're Shayla's. I'm not Shayla's. Yes. No, Pashminas. Pashminas. This is a Shayla. Yeah, so far I have like four. Shayla's? Okay, this is from Qatar as well. I think I've only worn this one a couple times, but it's pretty. I love it. DDs or Ross. I dried this one as well and it got messed up. As you see, I don't really wear patterned hijabs. I have like three. And then this black one, which is from Qatar. And then this green one, which is from my sister when she was about to start up her um, hijab store. 
She may or may not still do that. We'll see. And I like this one because it's thicker than um, Shayla's and this one. So, yeah. And the color is so nice. I love it. When you got 42 scarves, but you only wear three though. 42 scarves and only wear three. The thing is like I had about like 60 something, but and then I recently went through my closet and like I got rid of everything. Not everything, but a lot of stuff. So alhamdulillah, this is what I need. Low key, I'm probably gonna go buy some more scarves and throw away the ones that I don't need anymore. But it's hard to throw away scarves, you know? You got like this emotional attachment to it. It's like, wow, man, I worry that one time when that one thing happened and now we're like attached forever hijab. Oh, real quick, um, someone asked me about my hijab story and um, I thought about doing it with this video, but my hijab story is really just, I was nine years old um, me and my sister was like, yo, let's wear some hijabs. You know, we're wearing it during Ramadan and we went to a Muslim school. So it was like, let's wear a hijab. So we wore hijabs and that was really just it. Like that's, that is my hijab story. I was nine. I wanted to wear it. My parents said yes. So I wore it. I've been wearing it ever since, alhamdulillah. Uh, oh, I did wear niqab for about like eight months when I was 13. But, um, Yeah. So maybe I should make like a separate video of talking about like hijab, my ups and downs, because I don't know, talking while trying to show my scarves was kind of hard about my hijab story. Plus, I totally forgot. I'm not going to re-record it. So inshallah, I will make a whole new video if you want, talking about my experiences and why I wanted to wear niqab, why I decided to take it off, um, and um, everything like that. So yeah, that's it.